So here we are in the breeding shed. This is Kobe, who is that guy up there. And this is his mess of four chicks, one of which is his, and the others are all fosters. This little green guy down here is looking very promising. He is Lava and Malachite's baby. A sibling to the Dark Eyed Clear chick that I got. Um, that's his chick back there taking a nap. And this little one is the pied with the weird coloring. And there's another pied over there that are both um, Marble and Prussian's babies. This is Bubba Jr. His babies are looking really nice. And this thing will beat us. Oops, sorry, I went the wrong way. This thing will bite us. Um, this is uh, Malachite and Lava. Malachite is a green stone. Lava is a gray stone. Um, and I dumped their little babies out today. They're a little younger than I would have liked, but Lava was getting ready to reset. She was in that nest box thinking a lot more about sitting in there and laying eggs than she was about taking care of chicks, so I had to pull the box. <clears throat> Um, uh, let's see, there is Haverty and his girl Irene, and oh, they got three babies out now. There's, there's two back there, and the little, this is the first time I've seen the little, um, Haverty look-alike in there, and I fostered them a la one last chick who is in here being younger than everybody else. Um, so we are definitely uh, growing up around here. This is Powder and his two babies here. I have really been working to keep Powder going um, and I finally figured out what was wrong. I forgot to treat them for antimicrobials and they blew up when I wasn't looking. So one of the most common ways to know that is um, when they get into the heavier aspects of breeding, the parents start to fail. Um, usually there's a lot of chick death, but I've actually only lost two chicks way back when they were little tiny things. Because um, I see them when they start to go south and start, you know, trying to um, catch them before they fall. So, um, Powder here is acting like he's going to survive, and now that I've finally figured out what's wrong, oh, one of the other signs is, um, if they have a microbial infection, which is Giardia, Trichomonasis, Canker, um, uh, what's the other one? There's about a, a handful of them. The, and when I say microbial, what I mean is, is a parasite that's sing, a single-celled organism rather than a worm. Um, when they have that, they get infections from it in the lining of their stomachs and in their intestines. And that's what makes them sick. So when you give them antibiotics, it clears up the infection and makes them feel much better. But of course, it didn't kill the bugs, so you take them off the antibiotics and they backslide. And that's what happened when I treated everybody with antibiotics. I went, oh. So they are all on all right now. I am hoping that the chicks are going to tolerate this. Everything that I've read said that they should be able to, to tolerate it, but I have to give it to them because their parents are failing. I almost lost um, um, Winston back there, and he is still not in good shape. His hen has started plucking. Same thing. That's that upset stomach. But she isn't hasn't plucked a lot. Um, you can see that one chick is a little naked on the back, and that's it. And it seems to be growing f down back again. So I'm hoping another day or two on the medication will will stop her because her stomach will feel better. So there's my little dark-eyed clear down there with her foster daddy. Um, so this is, um, Sprite and, um, Zinnia, and Zinnia laid, beautifully laid six eggs that are all completely infertile because they're too sick to breathe. Um, so they are going to go out in the big flight, and, um, I'm going to start treating the big flight for the microbials tomorrow. Um, this is Pewter. He and his hen did have two fertile eggs out of four, both embryos fizzled. Again, I have to guess that the sickness has impacted this. Um, and so I'm going to pull them tonight. 
and put them out. Um, this, these two, this guy, this is um, uh, Cumulus and Snow, and Cumulus is clearly not feeling well. And Snow is hanging in there. But I, um, their clutch was infertile, and I'm attributing this infertility to them not feeling well. The males aren't going to be fertile if they're, if they're feeling sick. But I got a whole bunch of extra embryos from these guys down here, and they all hatched. So I gave them two. Let's see. What have we got there? Oh, look at them fat little babies. Um, and I gave... Hephaestus and Demeter won, so they finally, finally, finally get to raise a chick. Demeter, let me see your baby. You got a pretty baby in there. Let me see. Well, I can't see it. There it is. Can you see it? Let me get my... Let's see, where is it? There it is. So those are blank eggs in there. So they're going to get to raise a chick, and I am going to try them again once they're healthy. We're going to do a big move here. So look at all those little guys down there. They've got some size. Um, we have um, older chicks in here that are all doing quite nicely. This is Khalil and Jahan. And Pewter and his girl Baby. I mean, that's just not Pewter. This is Pewter's brother, um, Ocean. And um, his, his lady Baby have three chicks in here, two of which I banded today. Um, and one that's still a little bit too small. Those other eggs in there are blanks that I put in their cage when I um, fostered out their extra embryos. So, <laughs> Malachite's having a little trouble. He's like, I'm down here on the ground trying to eat so I can feed my babies and my babies are chasing me around and squealing at me. But that is the quickest way for the babies to learn to eat on their own. And this little guy is a piece of work. Look at his big old breast sticking out there, and he's acting like he's starving to death. These are some very, very nice chicks. Malachite, um, his entire value rests with the fact that he's split to, um, what do you call it? Um, Texas clear body. And I was looking for a Texas clear body chick for him. I did not get one, except that I think this double factor spangle, I mean this double, not, she's not a double factor spangle. These are her parents. Um, this one that looks like a double factor spangle but isn't is, is a dark eyed clear. Um, it, it was fostered over here as an egg. Um, is, I don't know, uh, she's probably got some Texas clear body in her, which might be a way to. Um, and Texas clear body is actually related to the Eno mutation. Um, so that might be why she's a dark eyed clear, because she has Texas clear body in here mixed with some other random thing. Who knows? Um, but anyway, these they're all doing these guys are doing really well. Their parents are tight feathered, obviously stressed, but hopefully the medication will make them feel better in the next couple of days. Um, this uh, powder has been hanging in there. Um, his chicks are light. They're probably a little smaller than they would have been. But he is fighting to keep taking care of them. Um, so hopefully, uh, again, the medication will make him feel better. I almost lost Winston. He's sitting over here in the corner. He was so weak he couldn't even stand. Um, I'm surprised that he managed to drink enough of the medication. Um, he would just, just put him on antibiotics to save him to get back up again, but now he is back up again, and um, he's going to start getting the proper medication so that he'll be cleared off. He's fat little baby, sitting under daddy. It's lovely. Okay, so that's what's happening in the breeding shed. So I'm going to end up with uh, 25 to 28 babies, something like that. Um, banded, which is a dismal amount, and they're coming out of about, I think, nine pairs when I actually set up over 20 pairs, and that is all because these guys had um, parasites because I forgot to treat them. Damn. And I think they probably picked up some new stuff because we've had a lot of mice here pooping in their food, pooping in their water dishes and stuff, and, and so they probably picked up something from the mice as well. So, um, anyway, that is the deal on that.